Hey now, hey now. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? Yes, sir, Jack. I'm uh, streaming way too early today. I'm, uh... Oh, welcome back, everybody, from the commercial break. <laughs> I'm on call today. So I'm on call uh, from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. Um, now, there's no guarantee that I'll have to work today, but there's always a chance. Um, there was one time when I started streaming, I got about an hour in, they called me to come in, so... Hey, okay, yes, wife, what's going on? Thank you for being here. <laughs> I wasn't expecting your name to pop up. That was awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm on call. It's okay, though. It's actually not bad. You know, we all take our turns. I I'm not on call very often. Um, and normally, if I am on call, I can usually give it away to somebody. Um, I'm actually doing a favor for somebody else. They had an unfortunate uh, loss in the family, and they have to go out of town for a funeral. So she was kind of scrambling to get her. She was on call Friday, Saturday, Sunday this week. Uh, so I picked up Saturday, somebody else picked up her Friday, somebody else picked up her Sunday. Um, so it's, yeah, like I said, not a big deal. The chances of them calling me in are not very high. Um, but if they do, I wanted to at least get a, a stream in rather than no stream in. Um, so I figured right now is the perfect window. I was trying to get on around noonish, but I was just kind of lagging a little bit. Sometimes it's just like that, you know, like I'm trying to get going. I just can't get going. Um, so I'm going to try to stream today. It's about 2 p.m. my time right now. I'm going to try to go to about 5 or so, 5.30. Maybe if I can get it till 6, I will. Um, uh, just the likelihood of being called in now is not is not very high because we have a, we have somebody that's working in-house from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. And the next guy starts at 7 p.m. So if he calls off, the morning person already didn't call off, so I'm good there. If the 7 p.m. person calls off, I'll usually know right around 5 or so. And then I have to be there. Then I have to be there all night, basically. Um, but if he doesn't call off, I'll probably just take a quick little nap. Um, I, I, in case you guys don't know, I work at a children's hospital. Um, so sometimes traumas do come in, unfortunately. And so usually the in-house team can handle it. Now, if there's another trauma that comes in, they have to call in the on-call team. And I'm part of the on-call team today. So um, basically, it'd be just be all hands on deck. And then I have to be there no matter what. So um, we have about 20 minutes or so to get there. And like I said, it's not horrible. I'm on call for 24 hours today. Um, majority of the time you're on call um, 48 hours. This pay period, I'm going to have about 36 hours of on call hours, which isn't bad. They toss us like eight bucks an hour just for the inconvenience of being on call. Just for the fact that I really can't do anything today because I, I might get called in. Um, and that's whether they call us in or not. So you just get the flat, like eight bucks an hour, like 24 hours for today, eight times eight. That's just extra on my paycheck. Now, if they do call me in, I'm going to get paid. I'm still going to get that eight, but I'm going to get paid a time and a half for the hours that I actually work. So it's, it's a really good, you know, it's a really good bump in the paycheck if it does happen. However, we're always crossing our fingers for it to not happen because it usually means something happened to a kiddo that is causing a trauma that's making us go in and we never want that you know what i mean so that that's my whole thing it's like i'd rather not get called in because that means that there was you know no but no kiddos getting hurt this weekend <laughs> um but yeah uh so we're trying to get the stream in uh shout out to jack the kamikaze for getting in that official first very very cool Oh my gosh, like Jack the Kamikaze is a total workaholic by day and gaming superstar by night. They're all about that COD zombies life, slaying undead like it's their job, which is, it kind of is. But like, no recent broadcast, that's a major bummer, Jack, for all of us. Hopefully, they'll drop back into our lives with some killer gameplay soon. Stay tuned, gamers. What I'm really hoping for is that we get crossplay in Baldur's Gate and me and Jack can do a stream together where we do a whole, uh, whole run together and chaos will ensue. Um, but yeah, uh, let me go ahead and move over to the game screen. I was currently, I'm, I'm about to enter, I'm in the mountain pass and I'm about to enter the Gif Yankee crash and I don't have Lysel with me. This is gonna be completely different than what I've done before. Let me just move over here so we can kind of see what I'm talking about. <laughs> Turn that be right back screen off. Let me uh, mute the music here because we likely don't need that there. Alrighty, I think we're set up now. Um, so uh, this is my team. 
I've got Will. He's a Sorkin in right now. He's going to be doing um, a lot of <clears throat> Eldritch Blasts with uh, elect like el lightning charges, basically. Um, I've got Gale. Uh, Shadowheart is my <laughs> wild magic barbarian. Uh, she doesn't really need this gear on, though. I usually have this on just to lockpick. So I can put her um, regular Give Yankee Plath Blade on that boosts her AC up to 17. And then I've got Coral. Coral is my Sporge Druid. Um, we really like her. She's doing a lot of lightning and cold damage. So we try to make the enemy wet. If we can make the enemy wet, then we can get vulnerable damage. Um, Gale is the problem right now. Gale has the Staff of Arcane Blessing. And as far as I can tell, the best thing about this staff is the Bless spell. <clears throat> bless will grant an additional 1d4 to your saving throws and weapon attack rolls, and an additional 2d4 to spell attack rolls. It's huge for spellcasters. It's freaking huge. Uh, unfortunately, he only has one Bless. Yeah. He only has the one, and he's already used it. So until I take a long rest, this staff is kind of useless. He's not going to be attacking with it. So I was trying to figure out what what weapon should I put in his hand in the meantime. And I was thinking if I go with the Falar Aluve, if I can find it, my Falar Aluve is super awesome because uh, once per, I believe it's once per long rest. I feel like, you know, your characters and so mine move and they do things and sometimes they kill things. Oh, yes. Uh, I am live, Dadison. I am live. I, I feel like I kind of know. Um, this game fairly well at this point. I'm over 500 hours into the game or for 500 hours of gameplay, but it's also based on D&D 5e and we play a lot of D&D 5e. Uh, Jack the Kamikaze is one of the best DMs I've ever had because of the way he DMs and how he's not trying to he's not trying to be competitive against his players when he DMs. He's really trying to get the RP out of us and he's really trying to get us to work together and get a story going and I, and I love that type of D&D &D. Um, but yeah and, and the game's based on these rule sets that I've been playing for a few years so so yeah I, I don't know I think I, I think I have a good a good handle on Baldur's Gate because of that oh my gosh Dadison is like totally the casual gamer with a heart of gold They've been all about that Breath of Hope fund fundraiser. I always want to say foundation. The Breath, Breath of Hope fundraiser, raising awareness for fun and funds for lung cancer. It's been a nonstop support vibe and like the best gaming moments ever. Swinging by for a good cause and let's make some rad memories together. Hashtag gaming for good. Hashtag gaming with a cause. Uh, so much memory needed. I don't know. Um, I think that if you really, really enjoy something, uh, you will you retain a lot of it. Um, but that's not entirely true, I guess. I'm also a numbers person. Like I'm a I'm a super hardcore nerd, and I love numbers and statistics and uh, maths. Maths are my thing. I know maths are not a lot of things for some people, um, and I just love always running the numbers and the theory crafting and everything about Baldur's Gate. So or about D and D. So like the best gaming moments ever. <laughs> so. <laughs> Have you shown your soon to be mod okay as well have your collection of glasses? Oh, you mean my my, car my carousel of glasses? This one here? I try to spin it and let it keep spinning. But then I <laughs> then I almost dropped it. So. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, Yeller. Uh, yeah, I got Yeller. Sorry, I just took the yellow ones off, actually. I was, uh... Hey, that's me. Toasty! Let me get these off. I'm gonna be blind for a little bit, guys. Oh, my God. Not the feet cam. Oh, my God. I'm so glad I can't see it right now, because those feet are gross. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna be blind here. Here we go. Uh, also, weird thing. Go ahead. I like weird things.
when you cast Bone Chill, does it sound like they go Timmy? That's actually why I have a a, uh, a channel reward that says Timmy, because I don't know what the spell is. It's something in Latin, and it's like it's like Tima or something like that, Tima. But depending on the voice, Timmy. Yeah, that's why when I cast Bone Chill, I always say Timmy first. Timmy. That's the one. Yep. <laughs> now it's all all here when you cast it. Yeah, and then the other one is Igmis. That's the one that I got from Elven Souls or Salmon Souls. Uh, because every time <laughs> every time uh Shadowheart casts Ig Ignis for her firebolts, it sounds like she's saying Igmis because she's going to miss it, right? Every time. So uh, for that one, I have, I guess they have the voice actors record many different lines, right? So when she says Ig Ignis, there's like four different ones that sh like different recordings of it. And I didn't know which one to pick. So what I did was I, I made sound bites for all the four different ones. And anytime you actually claim Ignis, it'll randomize which one's going to play. So it's not always necessarily going to be the same sound clip. And these are the things that I put into this. I put I put out too much work into these channel point rewards because, <laughs> because who's gonna ever notice that? Who's gonna ever notice that Igmis is like four different ones? Igmis. That one sounded more like Igmis, but you know what? Who? What? What do I know? What do I know? Anyways, uh, we're trying to figure out what weapon to give uh, Gale, and I think I'm thinking about giving the Falar Aluve. The problem with Falar Aluve is he's not proficient with it. However, I don't think weapons that they're not proficient with affects their spell casting. All it affects is this here, this here, which is wh whether or not they can do those. Uh, Gale is a divination wizard. But I think he'll still be able to have the the singer shriek if I put it on him. So I think we're going to do that for now, because right now he has this one. But the only thing good about this is the bless. And I've already used the bless so until I take a long rest. It's worthless. Uh, I think we're going to go with Falar Louie. And sure enough, it does give him his his sing. Which is great, and he can still cast his spells. OK, so I think Divination Wizard should obviously carry around a Warhammer because he's cool. Yeah, but the Warhammer isn't going to there's there's no benefit to any of the warhammers that I have. Um, this one he can knock a nearby prone, nearby foe prone, when landing a crit. Like he's not gonna ever be in melee. And the best one is this one because oh it's a mall. Never mind. The warhammer. Yeah, they're all they're all just straight melee weapons. There's nothing. I guess that one gives him. That's another. That's a light hammer. Yeah, the only one I have is. This intransigent Warhammer or Faithbreaker. That's upsetting. Come on, Gaily Poo. Come on, Gaily Poo. Um, I don't know. I just I'm just trying to give him something useful because we're about to go into the crash and I feel like I'm gonna get my ass kicked. <sighs> and the Shadow Heart there. And then we got Will. I think we're good to go. We also have our zombie army. I believe that you will achieve. If you believe, you will achieve. So I've got my zombie army. I also have my shovel, and I also have uh, the best boy sh uh, scratch. I think Shop we're gonna enter it. with with Will. I've never done this without Lizel. I don't know if how this is gonna go. I guess technically, I could throw on uh, a disguise self, right? Um, Practice by saying, in Okeus Wife, I believe I can achieve. Will you feed me your sauce? I want all the sauce, Daddy. What the hell was that? Oh, they're already going to see me. This is going to be bad, guys. Like, do I just go in and fight or do I try to talk to him? I don't think there is any talking to these people, right? I'm not Gith Yankee. They're, they're not red. Well, they're not red that we noticed. Yeah, they're yellow. They're just not very friendly, that's all. What did you? 
journey's over, Istik. It'll be swift. I've been infected by an illth and I need your help. Deception. Captain Voss told me to find the item that you've been searching for and I have it. Hmm. I'm not very friendly. People still try to talk to me. <laughs> Let me pass. It'll save both of us time and you and you a lot of blood. Chat chooses. Wait, a nautiloid crashed on your doorstep. People are getting infected by mind flares. I need help or just attack. Option five. That seems to be the best option for me. What do you guys think? <laughs> I feel like if I I don't want to trigger a fight for the whole crush, though. When in doubt, let quarrel out. Um, let's take a look at our bonuses. So this one is a plus nine. This one is a plus six. And this one is a plus nine. I believe that two and four are our best options. <laughs> the muscle mommy. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I, I'm, I, I just I don't want to fight everybody. I can only fight once and then I'm going to have to have a long rest. <sighs> I think we should lie to him, honestly. I think we should lie. Captain Voss told me to find the item you've been searching for, and I have it. We're going to go with that one. 18 for the DC. Oh, that was great. Oh, we got it. Oh, shit. <laughs> you go for like some terrible in real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, if I'm going to have, for, you know, some charisma. I'm going to try to lie. We are never informed first. But if Kithrak Voss wanted you alive, he must have had his reasons. Very well. Sure, sure. Enter. Seek Kithrak Therizin within. Nice. Good call on that one, Darbison, because I was about ready to get into a massive fight. I think we have a trader here that we can uh, steal all their money from, right? Where are they? I said attack. You are correct. Yep, I should not have attacked. That's a good advice from you, Darbison. Where is the traitor? Is it that one? Oh, here they are. They're walking this way. This one here I need. Ugh, blood, rust. I wanted scar? you to straight up knock out is the kneecaps. No yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we did. Smeared on this delivery? I'd heard this plane is <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> But I didn't Terrible. think it would be like this. <laughs> All right, there must be something worthwhile in this plane, on, or your kind wouldn't be here. Care to trade? Fine. There's only one thing I want from this lady. Better be pristine. <laughs> all right, we want... Oh, look at all this. Oh, my God, look at all this. We want the gloves of dexterity, obviously. Let's go ahead and go back to our barter system here. Um, Let's go with... Uh, greater heal. We just want all the healing pots for sure. We just we always want the healing pots. Uh, aberration slaring sling, arcane interference. This one was this one came in clutch against those eagles. So those are gonna silence things. Beast slaying is good. I don't know if I really necessarily need arrows of darkness. Um, fiend sling, yes. Sure. Sure. The many targets is another good one. Roaring Thunder. I haven't had to use these yet, but I guess they'll be okay to have. Salving. I don't need that. Transposition is huge. We need that. Undead Slaying. I don't need Scrolls of Revivify. Defender Flail. Reduced incoming bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. Main hand only tenacity. Do not need that. Don't need any of these. I collect all their arrows because I'm a hoarder. Yeah, I do the same, and I never end up using them. So with this run, I'm really trying to focus on using things, you know, when, when I have a chance. Uh, hand axe plus one. Great club plus one. Knife of the Undermountain King. Now, this is usually a clutch weapon for most people. I've never had to use it. Let's see. Reduce the number you need to roll a critical hit while attacking by, by one. 
This effect can stack. When you roll two damage or less, you reroll the dice, taking the highest result. Shadow Blade, you have advantage on attack rolls against lightly or heavily obscured targets when using this blade. I just don't, I don't even have a character that would use this. Um, the thing I would like to know is the number you need to roll a critical hit while attacking is minus one. Does that, is that spell attack rolls also? Because if it is, it could be good for Gale. But we'll grab it anyways. Uh, Larathian's Wrath. This thing is going to give us Razor Gale. You swing your weapon in a cyclone. What is it, a long sword? It's a finesse long sword. It's another weapon I'll never use, right? All right. Uh, long sword plus one. None of these weapons are special. Trident. Unseen menace. This weapon is invisible while equipped. It loses its property for two rounds on a miss attack. Okay. Witch breaker. You gain advantage on attack rolls against concentrating creatures. Hush you. Slash a target and possibly silence it. That's kind of a cool one. Um, medium armor, 14, no, heavy armor, heavy armor, light armor. When the wearer casts a spell that requires concentration, they get temporary hit points. Okay. Daredevil gloves. While the, the wearer gains a plus one bonus of spell attack rolls. That's a good one. Your ranged spell attacks are made as melee spell attacks when you are adjacent. Oh. That's a good one. And then the dex gloves. And then we might as well get some food. Okay. Uh, so. Oh, there's a raffle going. Let me go ahead and fix that raffle there. We also going to add points. All to 50. Everybody gets everybody gets 250 points. Um, let's balance the offer. That's going to be 7,000. Oh, he doesn't have enough. There we go. 7,600 gold. Um, I hope this trick works still. We're going to go ahead and barter. Oh, wait. There we go. Let's go ahead and barter this one. She took all of our gold. Um, now what we're going to do is on your way, then we're going to take Will. And we're going to put his. Where the heck is it? Don't tell me Gail has it again. Uh oh. The Pale Oak is a packed weapon for Will right now. We're going to do some That's cheese so mechanics sweet. right now. Actually, let's try, let's try something else. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because we could do the cheese mechanic here, right? Where we, where we try to sell her the Pale Oak over and over and over. But we could also go to Coral. I haven't done this one yet. Hold on. I think if we sell them a pouch. No, that's not going to work. That would have worked. That would have worked if we were trying to steal all that stuff. OK, let's go back to Will. We have to do it this way because I messed it up already. Uh, we're going to go ahead and sell a sword. We're going to swap the sword with the Pale Oak. The Pale Oak is a packed weapon. It cannot be removed from Gale. I mean, from Will. And we can just take all of the gold back. 250 gold at a time. Because this is our dishonor mode. And we're going to use every mechanic in the game possible to get ahead until we get our golden dice. Dishonorable. I know it. 
I wish I had a weapon that was worth more, but the pale oak was worth the most, so this is the one I went with. I think the other thing you can do is, and it's not necessary, but like, yeah, let's say I go one gold, right, and I barter it, it'll get make their attitude go up, right? So if I go with one gold and I barter, you can see how fast this, ch oh, you can't see it, my head's in the way, but their, pers their, their thing goes up, right? I guess I could... I can show you here. So down, down here, right? If I, if I do just one gold, and I trade this pale oak for one gold, watch this thing here. I'm gonna barter it. It just jumps up because they think they're buying this for one gold. Like I'm giving them this great offer, and it just sh shoots up again. And this is just this is just ultimate ultimate cheese mechanics at its finest. Yeah, we're at max now, so. Yeah, it, it, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, see, now she's offering 300 for each one. It's definitely, you know, something that needs to get patched, because this shouldn't work this way. It's just, it's just an exploit. It's just cheating at this point. I feel gross doing it. But I'm still going to do it. <laughs> Swap the weapons back. Take the weapon back. Exit. Remember. Yeah, we'll remember. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and put a spell sparkler back on. There we go. Perfect. Cool. Uh, what did we just get? Let's go by latest. <laughs> yeah. Have you tried playing on honor mode yet? I think... I think the honor mode aspect could change your mind a little bit. All right, the wearer, when the wearer deals cold damage, they inflict two turns of encrusted. Okay, so these are gonna go here. All right, these are gonna go here, right? And then I've got these dex gloves. Let's go ahead and put the dex gloves. Well, first, let's take a look at uh, character sheet. So, I mean, he's got a 16 dex right now. What I could do is respec him and tank, tank his dex and add more to like his con or his charisma, right? So I'll probably do that off stream, but because his dex is so high and I can put these gloves on him, there's no reason now, right? Because he's got an 18 deck score. There's no reason to to have that many points in his decks. You haven't played since October <laughs> before you <he> got puppies. <laughs> yeah, so the honor mode definitely, you, you try to figure out all the little things you can do. Um, and his AC shot up to 21 because of these gloves also. By the way, it's a 21 AC with no no armor on. He's only, he's only wearing robes and a shield and he's got a 21 AC and that's because of his build he's a warlock but he's also a sorcerer and the sorcerer is a draconic sorcerer which gives him um it's 10 to his base armor but also he gets a plus three from his draconic resilience he also gets a plus four from his dexterity plus two from his shield another one from the infernal robes he's wearing and he has one from warding bond right now so Without the wording bond, he'd have a 20 AC. Uh, it's pretty crazy for usually, you know, a glass cannon character like a warlock. But yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm happy. I think we did good here. Let's go and infiltrate the rest of the crash here and see if we can uh, not die. Did we get this? We got the waypoint discovered. Very nice. We are 1,800 uh, experience away from leveling up to. Should we just go straight into our big fight here? Please. 
to try. I can explain. The latest batch of cultists knew nothing of the astral prism. They were just trying to find Moonrise. They all head there. My Gish have drafted plans to assault the tower. They are ready to fight, Chitrai. We could sift the missing artifact from the tower's ashes if you would give us... Quiet. Find the astral prism, Therizin. My patience falters. Yes, Chitrai. You heard him! Go! Do as she says. She remains your Kithrak. For now. Alright guys, I'm gonna have to take a quick break here, unfortunately. Um, I've got somebody at my door. I was not expecting visitors today. Everybody knows I'm on call. But uh, I'll be right back. We'll just take a quick commercial break and then uh, we'll be here. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're back, guys. Alright, what was I doing? I think we were... Let's see. I think we were about to, like, try not to die, right? 
both of those little upgrades we did were enough to win this fight because we've got a couple of um, docks. What the heck are these? Uthru uh, wolves, I guess. Massive wolves. And we have the Kithrak here. And the Kithrak is the one I'm most afraid of. Um, he doesn't have legendary actions. So that's good. I think we have a couple of the like, littler ones too. Let's, uh, let's all just kind of walk in. Oh, I forgot Quarrel is still like a massive beast over here. <laughs> you know, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I just need to get everybody inside, including the zombies. I'm going to close now? the door. I don't think I have to close that door, but worst case scenario... Gale might be able to um, arcane lock it for 10 turns. So if the fight starts and breaks out, he can lock this door and then these guys that are standing out here won't be able to come in when they start calling for reinforcements. So I might try that. Let's see. Hello, good sir. We're just here to talk. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Shadow Heart's afraid of wolves. Sure, man. <laughs> An istic in my crash. Yeah, you are me. one of the mercenaries sent to bring the weapon. Don't tell her anything. Okay, I think we have what you're looking for. I was granted by your sentries. They told me to seek the Inquisitor and description of the weapon. There's a mind flare invasion progress. Why is that not your priority? Fighter. To value a mere weapon so much as pure vanity, you should worry more about your warriors. Sure, I have a weapon. Want to see your blood on it. Yes, I'm going to do this one. I was granted entry by your sentries. They told me to seek the Inquisitor. The Inquisitor? On what grounds? I never noticed she has a wonky eye like Will. I have proof of the Illithid invasion. I might help your Inquisitor to rethink its, his priorities. I have important information. information. Super vague. If it's not about the weapon we seek, I don't care. I told you, they will stop at nothing to reclaim it. Okay. Yeah. Should I just say I don't know? I, I, I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing about what you're saying. Crazy alien person. Hey now. Then stop wasting my time, Istic. All right, calm down. You are one of the mercenaries we engaged, are you not? Of course, I'll be back to search. What's the reward again? <laughs> uh, I think we should just kill her. A fortune in gold. Vouched for by our queen herself. That was like a I lie. have business to attend to. Return with the weapon, or do not return at all. <clears throat> Let's talk to this person over here. So I've never done this without uh, without Lysel. I'm not here. Speak to the captain. That's what I always say. See how well she I'm not here. This. I'm not here. Leave me alone. I can't go in here. I don't have this thing. Can I steal it off of her? All right, I'm going to separate our group a little bit. No, Shovel's already... Oh, this is perfect. Okay. I'm going to bring Shovel here. Strategically, no, we're going to place people where we want them. Most excellent. If I must. Defender of the people. Worth a try. I wonder what the next move is. <clears throat> Let's 
Let's try this way. I know she doesn't like wolves, so it's probably a bad idea to keep her near the wolves. But have to keep low. Never a dull moment. I think this is the way to go. Another step forward. All right, we ready? Whatever comes, I'm ready. Gently does it. Oh, she's got it right there. Only a five to steal it? This is real stupid, isn't it? Okay, okay, okay. What if we what if we put our our steely gear on? Unnoticed. Good. <laughs> can we just can we just handle it like this now? This is this is gonna be bad, right? Let's get going. Like if I try to put this in here, it's gonna be a fight. It's gonna be just a fight, just a straight up. What if I get like, uh, I can't even do this. Thief's been picking pockets near here. <coughs> this would be a good moment to explain <coughs> yourself. <laughs> right? I assure you, I've committed no crime. You quickly clear things up. Obviously, you aren't the thief reported. It's so obvious. Oh, where is she now? Oh, she's here. Okay. Okay, I want to tuck myself into this corner. But she's a little bit too big. Like, this is like the best I can do, right? I don't th I think if I hide, I get caught here. Right. Who would be? Oh, <laughs> it is you. It's talk. I will not have you sneaking through my crash. What are you talking about? Therizin. Yeah. I wish to speak with this one. <laughs> As you wish, Chitrai. Make haste. We have okay, okay, to okay. Conduct. There's definitely a fine line between stupid and genius, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go ahead and group them all back together. That was awesome. Let's bring Will back to the front because... Time. Because Will is not going to worry about... Come on. Ah, oh, dang it. No, I don't have anything to hide. It just I can't unhide everybody. Group hide, unhide. Unhide. Damn it. It's one of these weird things about the game. If you try to group hide and part of your group doesn't have a hide action, you can't unhide everybody. What's next, I wonder? Uh, I mean, he can stay hiding, I guess. Is there anybody else? Oh, oh Coral still now. hiding. We're there we needed. go. Yeah, I don't understand that part. Oh, I can take that. Keep in base. All right, let's go. Let's go talk to this guy here. <laughs> Where am I going that way? Who knows? Perhaps he'll answer our questions. I don't know. Are these things ever that simple? They're having like a whole conversation right now. I love surprises. That it? Nothing else down there, right? Alrighty, let's uh see what we're getting ourselves into here. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I mean there's not even any point in saving, right? It's honor mode, you only get one save. 
All right. They've got uh, a lot more health than I remember. Is it four, four plus him? He does have legendary resistances. Affected entity has a plus 10 bonus to its next saving throw and can use this three times. He also has Mind Claw of Tunarath. Twice per round, Inquisitor Wawargaz can spend a legendary action to summon a Mind Claw of Tunarath after he or his allies are struck. When the claw strikes, Wawargaz may mind link, mind steal link with a target not already affected. And he gets this at every round. Okay. Being drained, you get a minus two penalty on your AC and you're vulnerable to psychic damage. Summon a vestigial echo of Vlacketh's ire as a wicked psionic blade. All righty. Can't be surprised anyways. <clears throat> I'm going to take off Arcane Lock. There's no way I'm going to use that. Oops. We want slow up there for sure. Hold person, I think, is going to be just a bad, bad deal. 14, 14, 15. Coral has a better chance at hold personing. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Dad, <laughs> thank you for so much for even being here. I appreciate it. All right. What is the plan, guys? What is the plan? We hit him with water. We hit him with a call lightning. We hit him with a glyph of warding. We're going to use all of our counter spells. I already know that. Interesting. My Ardent reported that an Istic survived the crashed Geich slave vessel. You have accomplished much since. I'm pleased to finally meet you. I heard there is so much goblin blood on your hands that it soaks their children's nightmares. To business. I suspect you plucked something precious from the Geich ship. Something that belongs to us. The gift are just masterpieces. The weapon. Give it to me. Don't do it. <clears throat> the weapon is how I protect you. Do you guys know what happens if I give him the weapon here? I don't think it, he can take it from me, right? I can't. It protects me. How do you know so much about me? Shouldn't you be more concerned with the Mind Flare invasion? This weapon. Oh, shit. And I'm Coral right now, too. I'm not even Will. Okay, how do you know so much about me? Some of your species say knowledge is power. They are wrong. Knowledge is everything. We took an interest in you when you became involved with this absolute cult. A pestilence of infected slaves. The first symptom of the grand design in action. But you are lucky. That weapon you carry is the solution. I have heard it from Queen Vlacketh herself. Hand it over. Uh, 
how will this weapon stop the mind flares? That is a secret known only to Queen Vlakith. Its significance is beyond both of our stations. So, the weapon. Please. Don't give it to him. I just don't know what happens if I give it to him. And I've been making a really bad habit on this honor mode run of doing things when I don't know the outcome. And when I don't know the outcome, there's always a chance that you just get a game over screen, right? But... The excitement. So I know what happens here. I fight him. I get into a conversation with Vlakith. I enter the, uh... I enter the artifact. I see Dream Mommy. But I don't know what happens if I give him the artifact. No! So, it is found. Well, I mean, there are options that just end the game, though. You are permitted to look upon me. You are invited. This conversation alone will can just end. Like if you, if you are disrespectful to her, she's a god level entity. She can just cast a wish spell, and your game is over, and that's your honor mode run. Which is ours. But are you friend or are you thief? <clears throat> I didn't steal it, it just found me. Friend, I came to bring it back to you. Neither. I came here looking for the cure. Does it matter? It brought it back to yours. I found it. I didn't steal anything, but Shadowheart here. <laughs> <laughs> That's so jacked up. That's so jacked up. No, that's so jacked up. What if they kill Shadowheart? I'm down to three. I only have three. I cannot kill Shadowheart right now. <sighs> oh my god. What are you doing? You. You! That's it. We're dead thanks to you. I wish you. Oh shit! Is that my honor mode run? <laughs> That's it! That's it, guys! Game over, honor mode over. <laughs> oh man, I told you. <laughs> I told you. Yeah, you can't mess with her. This is my this is my problem with honor mode. Is I've been uh if I choose the wrong things, yeah, it was Shadowheart. Oh man. It was a good run. I mean, we got to level six. We got to the crash. Yeah, it was definitely a bad choice there. I've never done it. I've never done that choice before. And, and that's the problem with honor mode is if you don't know the outcome, that's it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't, you don't want to. You definitely don't want to. You don't want to see what the choices are, like what the options are when you're in honor mode. You can do that in all the other runs. But yeah, that that's one of the ones where it's like she just she's so strong. Like and that's why I tell people all the time when they encounter her, they're like, I'll just kill her. And I'm like, well, you can't kill her. She's literally a God level entity. Uh, continue your campaign in dishonor. Well, I've already been doing dishonor. You've only encountered her once. Oh. Yeah, well, we're going to end the campaign. That was it. We had Will, the level two warlock, level two fighter, level two sorcerer. The honorable adventure fights adventure fights with more metal than most, but they die like any other. Time played 63 hours of honor mode. 
And then, oh, is it just Will? I wonder why they're only showing Will. That's weird. I can't see anything. Yep, 63 hours. Yep, 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 yep. That was that was a tough one. Okay. Um, I thought I could click on other ones and see what the other ones do, but I guess it only shows who I was controlling. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't worry about that. Listen, it's just it's it's just more content, right? It's just more content. Um, and I learned a lot from Honor Mode. I definitely did. Uh, I honestly thought that I was going to um, finish it on one try, but it started off wrong altogether. Here, let me actually move over here. It actually started off bad. Like this was already um, a dark mommy honor mode. No, there's no, there's, there is no benefit to being evil in honor mode. What you want to do is just get through it to the end and win. Um, there's really, yeah, yeah, Darbison convinced me to, to, uh, to sell out Shadowheart and piss off Lacketh. <laughs> uh, we're, see, yeah, we were 63 hours in, 63 hours, 24 minutes of our honor mode, level six. Um, but like I said, it started off chaotic, right? Um, yes, we did, but you weren't here to stop me. <laughs> So we started off bad, right? We started off with a drunken honor mode run on New Year's Eve. Um, and and I was I was heavily drinking and heavily influenced by chat. And we killed Karlak and we lost Astarion. We killed the baby owlbear. Like it was a bad run. Just everything we had was bad. Uh, and and, and, it, and it didn't stop, right? Because I ended up losing Lyzel. I killed Minthara. It was just, uh, he was there for every bad decision. <laughs> um, so it was one of those things where I was, I mean, I was literally down to the last three party members and I, and I had no other choices. I had to roll with them. So, um, you know, it's unfortunate, you know, one of the lessons that I learned on this honor mode run is I need to stop choosing the options that I, when I don't know the outcome, right? Because if I don't know the outcome, there's a chance of this happening where there's literally just game over screens. You made the decision and you die and that's it. And there's a few of them throughout the game. It's not like that's the only one. Like you can kiss the uh, you can kiss the uh, intellect, the um, the mind flare um, on the first time on the beach. Right. And you can kiss you kiss the mind flare. You just die. And if you're by yourself, it's game over. Um, uh, you can decide to kill the emperor because you don't trust them. And it's just an instant game over. Um, so like there, there are times when it just happens. And I knew coming here, this was an, this was an option. And, and like I said, just, I've never, I've never chosen that one before. I know it's possible though, because I know how strong she is. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll start a new run. I'm not exactly sure what to do next. Um, like, I don't know what I, I, I want to play an origin character. I think I've done enough with the main characters. I've done. Um, I've done my Hildebrandt run. Yeah, right. Done my Hildebrandt run. I've done my Coral run. Um, I, I think. I want to do a will origin really bad. The problem with the will origin is he's going to be an evil run. And, and I don't want to do evil now. I want to wait for patch seven. Once patch seven comes out, they're actually they're actually making evil runs better. They're adding more content for evil runs. They're adding more evil endings. They're actually buffing up evil playthroughs because there's right now there's no benefit to being bad. There's no benefit to being evil other than just the story and the RP wise. Um, but once patch seven comes out, there's going to be a reason to. So for sure, I'll do an evil will run de then. <clears throat> So let's talk about the, this throughout the story where there was an opportunity to make another character. Let's talk about this like shovel. How was shovel created? What? I have no idea what you're talking about right now, Darbison. <laughs> so let's talk about this throughout the story where where was there an opportunity to make another character? 
Quarrel was Hildebrandt's person, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you're saying now. Yeah, Quarrel was Hildebrandt's dream mommy. So when I made Quarrel, and that was the other thing. It was such a, it was such a, like, I didn't plan this honor mode run very well. I kind of was just going with it. I really do like the Spores Druid, but it's not the strongest class in the game. Um, you know what? Do I do a Shadowheart Origin run? I kind of want to do a Tempest Cleric run. So relate a new character based on Hildebrand's story again. No, I don't really want to go that run. I want to do an Origin run for sure. I want to do an Origin run. Just because I have to knock him out anyways. Um, we could do Karlak Monk. Does everyone want to see a Karlak Monk? Because that's the one thing I never got on this run was my monk. I wanted a monk so bad, and I never... Every time I tried to get a monk, they died. So maybe I do a, a Karlak... These are... Let's go with our options here. Okay. We could go with a Karlak monk origin run. We could go with a Shadowheart Tempest cleric run. We can go with an Astarian... Bard run. That one could be okay. I don't really have any interest in the other ones right now because Will is going to be my evil playthrough. And Gale, I don't know. I really don't know. When, when I do a Gale one, I really don't know exactly what I'm going to do with Gale. But he's not a face character, and I want a character that I can talk to people. I really don't know. I'm not sure what to do next. Karlak Monk Run? I think that's the best bet for for uh, for honor mode because monks are so strong, right? All right, let's try that. How about that? Let's go ahead and let's move back to the game screen. Go back to the main menu. You should roll for it. Oh, I I don't think I want to do too many more. I don't I don't. Oh, Jack, you missed it. My honor mode just ran. My honor mode just finished. I died. I died, Jack. <laughs> honor mode is done. Quarrel's dead. <laughs> Jack got here just in time to join. I what I think what I need to do though is I need to record a new opening so I can stop it here. I can start it here. And, oh, I can't blame Darmison. I know, I know the consequences, and the consequences of choosing options when you don't know what the outcome is is the lesson that. I, yeah, Carl's gone. So what happened is we got into the we got into the Githyanki. Um, actually, here, let me go ahead and do this. This is this is stupid. I know. Um, what did I do? Can't we can't continue. All right. All right, I have an idea. I have an idea, guys. We're doing it live.